Imagine a structure so massive it changed the course of a river, literally. The Three Gorges Dam is China's greatest engineering triumph, or its biggest mistake. It powers millions of homes, but also buried ancient towns beneath its waters. What was gained and what was lost? Stay with us to the very end. This story might just change how you see progress forever. The Three Gorges Dam isn't just a power plant, it's a statement. A symbol of China's ambition, technical prowess, and its willingness to reshape the very earth beneath its feet. Stretching 2.3 kilometers across the Yangtze River and standing 185 meters tall, the dam is longer than the Golden Gate Bridge and taller than the Statue of Liberty. It took 17 years to complete, from 1994 to 2009, and employed over 40,000 workers. The cost? An estimated $30 billion. It's the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, generating over 100 terawatt hours of electricity each year. More than most countries produce annually. It has 32 massive turbines, each the size of a small building, capable of powering entire cities. And with its integrated ship locks and a vertical ship lift, the dam allows massive cargo vessels to bypass dangerous river rapids a feat of logistics as much as engineering. But building the dam was a monumental challenge. The Yangtze is wild and unpredictable. Engineers had to design deep foundations, build massive coffer dams, and reroute the river twice. Entire construction zones were protected by levees and pumps working day and night. One miscalculation could have led to catastrophic flooding. To resist earthquakes and landslides, the dam was built with advanced roller-compacted concrete and uses a step design to disperse water pressure. It's not just big, it's built to last. Still, critics argue that such large-scale manipulation of nature is a dangerous precedent. But to the Chinese government, the dam proves that no project is too vast, no obstacle too great. It's the ultimate example of human dominance over nature, for better or worse. The Three Gorges Dam is a titan of clean energy. It produces over 100 terawatt hours of electricity annually, enough to power 80 million homes. That means millions of tons of CO2 emissions avoided each year, helping China reduce its reliance on coal and cut air pollution in major cities. For a country struggling with smog and industrial emissions, this is a massive environmental win. But as always, the truth isn't that simple. While hydroelectric power is renewable, it's not without consequences. The creation of the dam's reservoir flooded 600 kilometers of river valley, drowning forests, wetlands, and farmlands under 175 meters of water. Entire ecosystems were wiped out. Endangered species like the Yangtze sturgeon and the Bahi dolphin have since vanished or are on the brink of extinction. There's also the issue of methane emissions. When vegetation decays underwater, it releases methane, a greenhouse gas 30 times more potent than CO2. Some researchers argue that the dam's climate benefits are overstated and its methane output may rival that of a coal plant in the long run. The dam has also changed the rhythm of the Yangtze River. Fish migration patterns have been disrupted, silt no longer reaches downstream farmlands, and water temperatures fluctuate unnaturally. Altering biodiversity on a massive scale. Even more alarming, the reservoir's sheer weight is believed to have triggered seismic activity and increased landslides along its banks. Still, proponents say the trade-offs are worth it. Cleaner air, flood control, and the ability to store water for future droughts offer long-term benefits. But critics argue that balancing nature with megastructures may come at a price we're only beginning to understand. Behind the concrete walls of the Three Gorges Dam, lies a human story few outside China truly understand. To build the world's largest hydroelectric project, over 1.3 million people were forced to leave their homes. Entire towns and villages, some with histories dating back thousands of years, were submerged. Temples, ancestral graves, and cultural landmarks disappeared beneath the rising waters of the dam's massive reservoir. Families were uprooted with little warning, often offered inadequate compensation and moved to hastily built urban developments far from their rural lives. For many, it wasn't just a change of scenery, it was a complete loss of identity. 
Generations of farmers suddenly became unemployed city dwellers. Elderly residents who had never left their hometowns found themselves isolated in unfamiliar apartment blocks. Communities were fractured. Social networks that once held towns together vanished overnight. There's also the emotional toll. For millions, their homes weren't destroyed by war or disaster, but by policy. The state decided that their land was more valuable underwater than alive with human memory. And while Chinese officials often praise the relocation effort as a success, numerous reports tell a different story of broken promises, poor housing quality, lost jobs, and mental health issues. Even today, many of the resettled communities struggle with poverty, disillusionment, and displacement trauma. Beyond the human tragedy, over 1,300 archaeological sites were lost, buried forever. A mad dash to salvage artifacts in the late 1990s couldn't stop the cultural erasure that followed. The Three Gorges Dam did more than alter a river. It rewrote lives, erased villages, and silenced voices, all in the name of progress. The Three Gorges Dam may be a technological marvel, but it's also one of the most controversial infrastructure projects in modern history. From the very beginning, critics warned that the environmental, social, and political costs would far outweigh the benefits. Environmental groups raised alarms about the irreversible destruction of ecosystems, wildlife habits, and natural floodplains. Chinese geologists voiced concerns about increased seismic activity. The reservoir's weight puts immense pressure on fault lines, and several earthquakes and landslides have already occurred since its completion. But environmental concerns are just the beginning. Many accused the Chinese government of suppressing dissent. Local villagers who resisted relocation were silenced. Independent journalists investigating the darker sides of the project reported harassment, censorship, and threats. Even scientists who raised red flags about geological risks found themselves under pressure to conform to official narratives. Corruption also stained the project. Billions of yuan intended for relocation and environmental protection allegedly disappeared. Reports emerged of officials embezzling funds, inflating construction contracts, and cutting corners in housing resettlement programs. Internationally, the dam became a symbol of unchecked state power. While some applauded China's bold approach to energy, others saw it as an authoritarian flex, altering nature and society with little accountability. Western engineering firms distanced themselves from the project, and global watchdogs highlighted the lack of transparency. In 2011, China's own state council admitted that the dam had created urgent problems, including water pollution, erosion, and social instability. A rare moment of official acknowledgement. Yet despite the criticism, the government doubled down, defending the dam as a necessary sacrifice for national progress. To many in China, voicing doubt wasn't just unpopular, it was dangerous. In the end, the Three Gorges Dam reveals not just an engineering story, but a political one about who gets to decide what progress really means and at what cost. The Three Gorges Dam is complete, but its story is far from over. Today, the dam stands not just as a monument of engineering, but as a symbol of China's power, pride, and ambition. For the Chinese government, it represents success, a nation capable of bending nature to its will, supplying clean energy to millions and controlling one of the most unpredictable rivers on Earth. But the legacies are rarely one-sided. The dam has become a cautionary tale in global development circles. Countries with similar ambitions, like Brazil, India, and Ethiopia, study it closely, weighing the promises of hydroelectric power against the consequences of displacement, ecological destruction, and long-term instability. Within China, the dam inspired even more mega-projects. Most notably, the South North Water Transfer Project, an enormous undertaking that reroutes water from the Yangtze to the drought prone north. But critics warn when nature is pushed too far, she pushes back. Climate change is also rewriting the dam's future. Droughts have already lowered water levels, reducing its power output. Meanwhile, heavier rainfalls threaten to overwhelm the dam's flood control systems, raising concerns about whether it's truly future proof. Technologically, the Three Gorges Dam has become a benchmark, but also a burden. Maintenance is complex and expensive, and while the world moves toward more flexible, decentralized green energy, like solar and wind, 
massive hydroelectric projects may become less relevant in a fast-changing energy landscape. What's next? Some believe the dam will inspire smarter, smaller, and more sustainable infrastructure. Others fear it's only the beginning of a global trend, where progress is measured in megawatts, not human lives. Whatever the verdict, one thing is clear. The Three Gorges Dam reshaped China and sent ripples around the world. The Three Gorges Dam is more than steel and concrete. It's a symbol of power, sacrifice, and the thin line between progress and destruction. It brought light to millions, but also darkness to thousands. A marvel of engineering, yes, but at what human and ecological cost? Now it's your turn. What do you think? Was it worth it, or is this a warning to the world? Leave a comment. Let's talk. And if you want more stories that challenge how you see the world, subscribe now, because the next video might reveal the truth no one dares to tell.